All right, so in our last video, we've managed to move the player with the arrow keys, and now we're gonna add some animation. So let's do that now inside the constructor. Let's add some animation. So that's done with a, um, what's the word, like a method from an FLX spike called animation. And we're gonna add one called run. So the way the animation method works is there's an add, there's a play, and there's something else. Um, but for the run, for, sorry, for the add, you have the name, the amount of frames, frames per second, uh, and if it's looped or not. So those are the ones we're going to use. Uh, the rest of them, I think, are optional. So we've got one called run. We're going to use frames 0, 1, 2, and 3. And let me show you how I'm figuring this out. So inside the dude, each one of these is a frame. And we start from 0 all the way to, I don't know what this is, like 8 or something. Um, we're only going to use the first four. So it's 0, 1, 2, 3. For all the movement in the game um, because with Fixel you can flip the, the images which I don't know if you can with Phaser maybe you can but um, maybe at the time you couldn't but we're just going to use these, these four so it's 0, 1, 2, 3 based on the width and height that are set here. Cool so we've got 0, 1, 2, 3 which I've shown you already what they are and I'm going to move it 12 frames a second of course you, you can move the numbers about to, to figure out what you want. I'm going to have another one sorry animation come on there we go. Add, and we're going to call this one idle. And we just want one frame for this one. So that is going to be just a zero, zero, um, 12. And by default, the looped, sorry, the animation value, I think, uh, here, looped, there we go, is set to true. But here, I want it to be false. Because it's just one frame, there's no point in looping one frame over and over again. It's just, just a waste of resource. So we have that. Now let's make use of these. Let us say if either the left or right keys are pressed, what you want to do is animation. I didn't spell that right, did I? And it play just a run at the moment. So we'll play the run. What else? Yep, that is correct. Cool. Um, so Something else we need to do is add the direction. So as you saw in the video before, when I was pressing right, the player wasn't facing right. So we're going to do that next. But let's check out what we've just done. So hard refresh. If I move here, OK. So the player is actually moving better to the left and to the right. Cool. And it's not stopping. We'll, do the, we'll fix that in a bit. One thing I forgot to mention, which I should have done at the beginning, is how to fix the issue of the player moving left and right at the same time. That's quite simple. Um, if left and right you press at the same time, we want the velocity to be zero. Cool. And I'll check that once it's been built. But let's go back to here. So if left and right are being pressed at, the, at any point, so if left or right is being pressed, we want this to play. And when they're not being pressed, we want the surprise surprise, you want the idle to be played. So if I was to go here and press left and right at the same time, why didn't that work? Ah, because this is meant to be on top. So it's meant to be left and right first because it cascades down, so it does if right do that, if left do that, if left and right, but left and right should be first, so we should check this one first before doing the other two. So let's put that here, and we're going to make this zero, we're going to make this speed, and we're going to make this right. Cool. I'll put that in a bit. Let's go here and start adding the facing. So facing um, is, is how you decide what, what, um, what position the character is facing, and we can set that here. So we're going to set facing. Flip, so I'll put the yeah, so facing flip, and that takes in some parameters. So it's going to take um, FLX object. So the reason we use FLX object here, um, here we go, is because it's it's a, uh, what's the, what's an enum. So this should import. If it doesn't, you might have to add it manually. But FLX object contains enums, and and each kind of position to left, right, up, down is an integer. I don't know what it is off the top of my head. If I did, I'd write the integer here instead because, as you can see, this takes an integer and a ball and a ball. Um, so I can show you what the integer is if you 
if you're interested. Probably not. But I think the integer is this is yeah, look at that. So 0x0001. So I, I'm not gonna write that in there each time. This is much readable. So what we're gonna do for left is I think we're gonna keep it as is, because for left it's fine. So false, false. Are there any defaults? I'll check it later. So we'll do another one. But you guessed it, for right. And we are gonna flip the x-axis to true. So that, we're gonna flip that to be true. Um, yeah, so we're gonna flip x to be true. And there are no defaults. So now that's done, we need to set the player facing um, variable. So we can do that here. So when it's left, we're gonna do facing Facing flx object left, and I'm not completely sure how this works. If it kind of figures out, okay, based on the fact that it's set here, yeah, that's some weird magic. But we've got left, and then we've got um, flx object. Let's just copy and paste it. <laughs> right. Cool. So that should be everything. Let's. Oh, I forgot to put a semicolon. Now we're going to have to wait for that build to happen again. Hopefully, quicker than before. Just double checking my code. It looks good. Right. So now, let's check a few things. Call the play face to the left, play faces to the right. If I press both at the same time, player does not move. Maybe they should be idle as well. Actually, I'll leave that. I'll leave that to you. So, if the player is pressing both at the same time, make the animation not play because why should it play? Um, and in the next video, which is the final one for, for this kind of player movement um, block, is we're going to add a player jump. And to do that, we have to add three things. We need to add uh, gravity, so the player can, can jump, um, a jump button, and also some some collision. So we're going to have boundaries. So all of this will, will collide uh, when the player interacts with it. So yeah, that's all to look forward for in the next video. Thanks for watching.